in South Jersey, a bizarre site. All eyes are on the Pensacan Creek here. Take a look because part of that waterway turned bright red today, leaving people who saw it completely puzzled. And tonight we know a beverage facility in the area is to blame now for the colorful creek. Action News reporter Aliana Gomez working this story live for us now in Mount Laurel with the details. And Aliana, it's one of those stories where the pictures really tell the story. Shari, Mount Laurel neighbors woke up today wondering what's in the water. Take a look. This is not a jar of juice. This is a water sample from their crimson colored creek they found in their backyard. Take a look. You can see it right here. It's been a big mystery throughout the day, but we're finally finding out what's causing this. This is not the Nile. This is my backyard. Unbelievable. It's like it's not the Red Sea. It's the Red Creek. Neighbors in Mount Laurel, New Jersey, woke up Tuesday morning stunned after discovering the south branch of the Pensacan Creek that runs through their backyard had turned bright red overnight. It could be a poison. It could be some kind of chemical. It could be anything. We have no idea. Rocky McGuigan was brave enough to trudge through the mysterious water only to find a dead fish that left him very concerned about the creek's wildlife. We have geese, ducks, deer, fox, turkeys, and it's just nice to see them have a place where they can have a little refuge. After countless calls to the Department of Environmental Protection and local officials, the Evesham Township Municipal Utilities Authority revealed the source for the red color. A local beverage manufacturer in one of our industrial parks had improperly discharged red dye into the wastewater treatment system. The MUA won't reveal the name of the beverage company, but says the dye is not hazardous. To get into our wastewater treatment system, it would have had to have been dumped into either, uh, as you said, a toilet or some type of a drain that's attached to the sewer system. Knowing the source is somewhat of a relief for Rocky and his dog, Casey. Big wave. Big wave. Big bear. But he says they won't be cooling off in the creek until it's gone. And the MUA says that they will be testing the water to make sure that it's just red colored dye and nothing hazardous. But they say that the water should clear the redness that is should clear from the creek within 24 to 48 hours. Reporting live in Mount Laurel, Aliana Gomez, Channel 6 Action News.